What is up my ninjas? This is Strider in here with another toy review. This time I'm reviewing one of the two figures in this two-pack. Um, it's a cool two-pack, but the figure in, in uh, question today is going to be Ultimate Cat. Um, I really dig the design, really love the character. I think this is the best representation of Cap, even better than the movie, even though the movie does borrow some things from of the Ultimate Universe, but uh, that's kind of what the Ultimate Universe was created for. Anyway, I'm going to jump right into it. This figure is well done. Those are the accessories. The alternate Brad Pitt-ish looking head is, is kind of cool because, you know, up until now, you had to search for variants for that, but here you just get it all packaged in there, and I think that's pretty awesome. Um, I really dig the sculpt on the figure. Um, this I bought for my son. So you can see some wear and tear on it, but it's still awesome because since it's an old suit, it's cool that the suit has damage on it, you know? And it's kind of dirty and stuff, but uh, yeah, it's awesome. He's to scale with your Marvel Legends because he is a Marvel Legend, even though this is one of the Hasbro ones and not the Toy Biz ones. I do have issues with the plastic and the paint job on most of the you know Hasbro figures, but as you can see, he does look like he fits and his posability is pretty close to those of the original Marvel Legends, so it works. It's a little bit better, actually, than that first cap. Um, he's got the old school shield. Um, that harness that he's wearing, the belt and everything, uh, you can take it off, but I think the, the clamp that's closing and holding everything together is glued shut, so I, mean, I wouldn't advise it. Um, unlike the others, you can't strap his shield on his back. He doesn't have the clip in the center, and then the, uh, you know, the, the, the two fabric um, straps to hold, to hold on his back. Um, I wish they did that, because I love that. Every now and then I, you know, hook my stuff up that way, and um, I prefer being able to do that, because, I mean, you know, you often see him in those poses, you know? Um, but, you know, all that aside, it's still an awesome freaking figure. I mean, like... It somehow exudes the hardcoreness of soldiers from the time, you know? Um, World War II was not pretty. I really dug that the sculpt was able to capture that, you know, the, the hardness that you had to have. Um, it was cool. I wish that they used this exact design in the first half of Captain America, because it's just more practical than the suit that he ended up having. But since they're trying to say that you had characters like Howard Stark back then, it makes sense for him to have, you know, those advances in his costume back then, and then we update it for the Avengers flick. But, you know, it's just an awesome figure. You see, this is another pose that I put the previous, uh, the Ultimate Cap in. You can pretty much assume, you know, all those positions. You know, he's a very poseable character, and Cap is a nimble character. Probably one of the only things that was missing from that movie is the, the, the gymnastics aspect of Captain America. Um, but yeah, paint job is simple. The majority of the figure is cast in the color, the blue color that you see is the majority of the suit, and then everything else is just painted on except for his fingers. And I, I dig that, especially since this was a gift for, uh, uh, I think we got it for him when he was eight. So it's a gift for an eight-year-old. Um, this way, the figure actually holds up and doesn't just, you know, get rusted and you know, smeared and messed up at the way you know, some of the other figures that are more detailed do. Um, I just, I don't know, I just love it. I had fun taking these pictures, you know. I was like, who could he kick? And I'm like, ooh, a Nazi. And I have Cronin. And therefore, he's kicking the shit out of Cronin. A little 540 action. You'll get to see it a little bit better in the next picture. Jump kicking Cronin in his face. Take that, you nazi. Um, I just dig it. I, I really dig the figure. And it was a good purchase, and the figure stood up, even though we only used him a couple times. We had him teaming up with uh, Commander Steel from DC, because we just thought it'd be funny. Um, no, no, it's an awesome figure. Awesome figure. Well done figure. The articulation actually uh, works with the sculpt, like I always complain about. He's got, uh, I think, over 14 points of articulation, and as you can see, every single point works. He can hold his weapons. He can even hold his... Um, machine gun with both hands which I love because he's a soldier and I hate when you get Marvel Legends figures and something that simple especially gunners something that simple they can't do so 
this is a must buy if you are a Captain America or Avengers fan. Um, they're going to re-release this in the, uh, I think it's a Walmart exclusive wave of the 6 inch uh, Iron Man, I mean I'm sorry, 6 inch Cap and Thor figures. Um, if you see them, get them. If you can get them with Nick Fury, that's even better because that was like 15 bucks when we found them. And you can find them at retail outlets like uh, Marshalls and whatnot for about that price. So anyway, um, that's been my review of Ultimate Captain America 1940X suit, and I hope you dig it. All right, guys, I will be back with another review soon. Peace.